Are you serious? I mean, are you serious? William Branham was one of the greatest revivalists and evangelists um, that the world has ever known. He had seven visions that I want to share with you, just a quick synopsis of each one, that is so prophetic and powerful, it's very important. Now, you need to know who William Branham is. William Branham was born in the spring of 1909. He was uh, born to one of the poorest families deep in the hills of southern Kentucky. Within minutes of his birth in this tiny one-room cabin, a strange light entered the room and hovered over his bed where he was laying. It was the beginning of a supernatural life that would change the face of modern Christian world. This is him, William Branham. Now, William Branham would uh, come in contact with Dr. Lester Sumrall uh, in his traveling and preaching. And uh, there, so there was, you know, Dr. Sumrall, of course, also uh, had uh, preached with alongside Smith Wigglesworth and Howard Carter and some of the, you know, A.A. A. Allen and Oral Roberts and some of the uh, uh, patriarchs of old, basically. But William Branham uh, was in his cabin there in Jeffersonville, Indiana. It was then late in the night that an angel of the Lord, he said, visited him and gave him the commission to start praying for the sick. In other words, he got a word from God to pray for the sick. Now, Dr. Lester Sumrall encountered William Branham, but, and, and I, I can say, and of course, we know that if you know Dr. Lester Sumrall's story, is just tremendous miracles and healing and the power over demon spirits that he had, and also, um, touched many lives. And I can tell you that it was in 1996, in March of 1996, the first time I ever went to Jerusalem, it was Dr. Lester Sumrall's tour. It was C Tours I was on. Dr. Sumrall was on about his 39th or 40th trip to Israel, but it was his last. No one knew this. Matter of fact, in one night with 500 people in a room, and he was speaking as we were eating dinner after going out to the holy sites. He called three of us out of the crowd, three specific people out of the crowd. I was one of the three, and he laid his hands on each one and prophesied over each one of us there in Jerusalem. And he, and he prophesied and told me, he said, the Lord was going to move mightily in our ministry. It was going to be a worldwide ministry, and thousands would come to Christ. And he prophesied. Uh, I couldn't understand how in the world that could happen and I never seen one ounce, one movement, not one thing from that prophecy for 15 years. And then God began to open the doors. Well, let me just say this quickly. William Branham had seven visions. Here's what he had. Uh, in June of 1933, William Branham experienced a series of seven prophetic visions of events leading to the total destruction of America in the end times. Vision number one, William Branham witnessed Italy's Mussolini. Brutally, he said, would invade Ethiopia and then himself coming to a shameful demise. In vision number two, Branham wrote, this is, remember, this is 1933. World War, World War II ain't even close to being started yet, okay? Uh, in the second vision, William Branham witnessed Adolf Hitler bringing the world into a second world war, he said, pounding on the Americans along the front lines, but coming to an, a mysterious end. In vision number three, in the third vision, Branham said fascism and Nazism was swallowed up in communism. A voice in the vision instructed William Branham to watch Russia, but rather than watch rather than watch the USSR, because they were called the USSR at that time. Uh, this vision was indicating an eventual fall of the Soviet Union and the formation of Russia into a distant state. Then in vision number four, in the fourth vision, scientific achievement would produce driverless vehicles, while cars continue to be shaped more like eggs. Folks, this is where we're at now. It is now here. Cars are being developed right now that can drive on their own. Soon, that will be the norm. Vision number five, the fifth vision, dealt with a, the morality of America and the world. Just as scientific advancement was represented by a car in the fourth vision, the decline of morality 
was represented by women in the fifth vision, says William Branham. I saw women cutting their hair and acting and dressing like men. And finally, they almost completely abandoned all women's garments. All right. So this, no doubt, he was seeing the uh, lesbian movement and the, and the course and the transgender and gay movement that's now sweeping across America and the world. Then in the seventh, um, in the sixth vision, excuse me, did I say that one? In the sixth vision, uh, a woman, he said, rose to great power in America. William Branham was not sure whether this woman in the vision was a physical woman in power or was it a religious power rising up? But he believes it was a woman. And the question is, is that woman rising right now Hillary Rodham Clinton? If so, it would confirm definitely the vision, the dream actually that I had in 2004 where I saw Hillary Rodham Clinton dressed in white with golden lace and a ball gown. I seen a ballroom where people were dancing like a waltz when all of a sudden the doors opened and the music changed and announced that Hillary was walking in. As she came in, she wore a golden crown and had a golden scepter in her hand as if she was a queen. She entered into the ballroom and a voice spoke out and said, all Christians against the wall. And all of us that were Christians, including myself, were thrown up against the wall. She lifted her scepter in the middle of the room and said, this is the end of Christianity as you know it. Folks, I'll never forget this dream. And I shared it in 2004. And when, so when she ran for president in 2008, I was sure she was going to win. And she lost. And I thought, oh, thank Jesus. But then she was secretary of state. And now she's leading the way maybe walking to the White House. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. I don't know. And the vision number seven, William Branham said, in the seventh and final vision he received, there was an explosion and the nation of America was turned into ashes from coast to coast. You got to wonder, folks. You just got to wonder. These are visions, seven visions recorded 1933, William Branham. Just keep an eye on what's going on. Bible prophecy is coming to pass and pro prophecy given to some of these uh, older patriarchs on the power of the Holy Spirit. This man preached great revivals and crusades. People were saved and healed. Unbelievable. I mean, with T he, would, he would minister sometimes with A.A. A. Allen and T.L. Osborne. Uh, I mean, he got, you know, uh, just different ones uh, that he, Dr. Summerall, he, of course, he was working with him, Oral Roberts and others in a time of great revivals that took place. But I noticed that every one of these powerful men of God, sometime or another, they get a vision of the end times. Every one of them does. It's quite amazing how God always brings that out at some point. Look at David Wilkerson, who was one of the greatest pastors in his Times Square Church in New York City. And he led thousands to the Lord. Yet he had some of the most powerful visions prophetically that we even still continue to watch today. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Because we are, without question, running out of time.